Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to orient a non-parametric model to our coordinate system. So now as you can see here, this model is oriented in a different manner. Suppose if I give as a front view, you can see the model is oriented in different manner. So suppose if I go to top view, you can see the top view, uh, it is oriented in a different manner. But we have to rotate this model and uh, make it you know exactly match with this our coordinate system but i wanted to tell you some important things here whenever you are working in a company don't rotate these kind of models in some companies they will use a global coordinate system uh, using which the component will be assembled so suppose if you are going to modify this rotation that is going to affect in the main assembly so that is why whenever they are using it as a global coordinate system in that case when they call this particular component so this particular component in any of the assembly this will go into automatically the goal going to particular its place and it will be assembled so that is the case uh, in that case they will use the global coordinate system so when you are working on any company please do not modify uh, these kind of rotation and any, anything so this is just for a practice purpose suppose if you have downloaded any component or any item uh, from the you know uh, from online and if we want to practice it and you want to make an orientation change the orientation in that case it will be helpful for you so now i'm going to show you how we can make this so now i have opened this model so simply i just go to here open and uh, this is the doubt from one of our subscriber and he has given the model so i have opened it so this is the component so it has been opened so now you can see here uh, this is completely in a different uh, in, you know orientation so now uh, it is not in a modeling workbench so first of all let's hit control m and let me go to modeling workbench so now we are into a modeling workbench so first step is we need to create a coordinate system so now we can go to here and select the coordinate system so once you do this uh, you can see the coordinate system that is somewhere it is there in the work coordinate system so now what we can do is we can select the point on this model so that it will be created on this model so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this point because i can view this as an x-axis and this as a y-axis so i'm going to select this point so now you can see here this whatever the coordinate system that is going to create it will exactly reflect this coordinate system so uh, we don't need to do anything you are here you just need to create a coordinate system and click ok so once this is done we have to you know rotate this model so how we can rotate this model hit ctrl t so this will open a move object window so you can see here move object window and here you just need to make sure before selecting the component motion should be dynamic and the result should be move original so we are not copying the component and we are not copying any feature here we are moving the original feature so move original should be on okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select an object since this is the only object i can able to select it by selecting like this suppose if in your case if there are too many objects are there too many bodies are there so if, what you can do is you can drag and select it okay in this way so now you can see here our coordinate system is also selected so how we can deselect this hit shift and select this okay this will be unselected so whatever the hundred components that we have selected everything will be selected only this can be excluded okay so now you can see here once this is uh, selected and your motion is in dynamic this handle will appear so if it is in different uh, manner this handle will not appear so make sure that this is dynamic okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient this coordinate system whatever the dynamic coordinate system we have as per model so how we can do that we, we have to switch on this move handle only so I'm going to uh, switch on this move handle only so what does this do is it will move the handle only it will not move the object so this is our object so the object is not going to move only the handle is going to move so now how I have to orient so now I am going to select this XC and I want to orient this along this face ok so now you can see here the coordinate system and dynamic coordinate system is being moved so now I am going to select this ZC and I am going to select top face ok 
so this is oriented along the whatever the model so now i am going to select this center point and i'll put it this on this face sorry point okay so now this is whatever the dynamic coordinate system is matched with our model so now we have to rotate the model so in that case we have to switch off this and go to zc and match along with z okay in the same way xc match along with x that's all in this clip okay so once this is done so you can go to top view or left view or any view so your model will be oriented as per your requirement so this is how we can do this guys once again i'm going to tell you do not do this in any company when you are working on um, you know global coordinate system uh, assembly workbench so it will uh, destroy all your uh, you know top level assemblies so please keep that in mind okay hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, we will meet in the next video thank you